Apollo's journey to divinity was a complex story of joy, sorrow, victory, and wisdom. A true testament to the complex nature of his god. The story of Apollo begins with his mother, Titaness Leto. She was a titan of beauty and calm amidst the tumultuous drama of the gods. She was pursued relentlessly by the monstrous python. The monster was sent by the wrathful Hera in her jealousy. Leto faced unspeakable danger even before her twins were born. Hera's anger wasn't the sole force against Leto. It was compounded by the very existence of the twins she carried, Apollo and Artemis. They became the center of Hera's intensified fury. Desperate for a peaceful sanctuary to give birth, Leto traveled across the world to find her refuge. The fear of Hera's reprisal gripped the hearts of both men and gods alike, causing them to deny Leto the shelter she desperately sought. Except for the floating island of Delos, secluded amidst the vast sea, Delos dared to offer Leto a safe haven, defying Hera's intimidation. There, amid the rugged rocks and under the open sky, Leto gave birth to Apollo, the god of light. Beside him was his twin sister Artemis, the maiden huntress of the moon. Contrasting yet complementary, the siblings represented the balance of light and darkness, day and night, sun and moon. Their entry into the world was a defiance against adversity and the resilience of their mother. From the moment of his birth, Apollo was destined for greatness. As he grew, so did his divine gifts, giving him the essence of light, truth, and healing. Each step in his journey further deepened these skills as a god. Whispers of Python's relentless hunt had echoed through the halls of Mount Olympus. Mortals and demigods alike got to know this story. It was a story that was retold as a chilling reminder of the lengths to which envy and revenge could push the gods. The tale, however, was different for Apollo. It wasn't just a story. It was his heritage. The story was a dark cloud that overshadowed the joys of his birth. As Apollo transitioned from a youthful deity to a formidable god, this tale became an integral part of his legend. Every time he heard the murmurs about Python's chase, a fire was stoked within him, a burning mix of anger and protective love for his mother. The young god's heart, usually illuminated by the purity of light and truth, now also held the shadows of a vendetta. He could no longer ignore the burning call for retribution to Hera. Fueled by this righteous wrath, Apollo set his sights on Mount Parnassus, the home of the formidable python. This was no ordinary snake, but a creature born from the ancient earth, an animal made from chaos and darkness. It was said that python's hisses could shake the very foundation of the world, and its glare could petrify the bravest of warriors. The world held its breath as Apollo stood against the gargantuan python. The battle that ensued was nothing short of epic. Skies thundered, and the earth trembled as divine arrows clashed with the monstrous scales. Golden beams of light confronted the darkness of chaos. Hours seemed went by, but as the dust settled, Apollo's power shone brighter than ever before. The once feared python lay vanquished, its reign of terror ended. The serpent's defeat wasn't just a personal vendetta fulfilled. It was Apollo's proclamation to the world of his protective love for his family and the lengths he would go to uphold it. This victory was massive for him as a god. Not only did it underline Apollo's powers, but it also solidified his bond with Delphi, the place where the battle transpired. From that moment on, Delphi would no longer be in the shadow of the monstrous python, but would instead be the home of Apollo becoming a center of prophecy and wisdom in the ancient world. The story shows his heroic deeds and profound wisdom, but also serves as a chronicle of his experiences of love, loss, and transformation. It shows its brilliance. Apollo's chariot, drawn by the glorious horses, would ascend into the heavens. Each dawn bore witness to this glorious ascent as the first rays of sunlight heralded a new day. With unwavering precision, Apollo steered his radiant chariot across the vast expanse of the sky. Under his guidance, the sun journeyed from the eastern horizon to the west. Apollo's influence wasn't merely limited to the skies. On the ground, his presence was profoundly felt in the skills of art and creativity. 
As the protector and patron of music and poetry, he was the silent muse behind countless masterpieces. The strumming of his golden lyre, resonating with melodies both sad and joyous, had the ability to permeate the soul. It was said that in moments of profound sorrow or overwhelming joy, if one listened intently, the gentle notes of Apollo's lyre could be heard. Apollo, through his different roles, was interwoven into the very fabric of ancient Greek society. Whether illuminating the world with the sun's rays, stirring souls with melodic tunes, or guiding destinies with prophetic insights, he was a constant divine force, shaping, nurturing, and guiding the world with his vision. Apollo's journey through the cosmos, marked by trials, triumphs, and transformations, is a testament to the vibrant wisdom of him. His legacy makes the fundament of Greek mythology. His wisdom echoes through the ancient oracles, his music resonates with the ancient people of Greece. We have reached the end of today's story. Let us know in the comments below what you think of Apollo. Is he your favorite god? Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos.